Greetings, and welcome to our course on creating a life simulator game in C-sharp. I'm your instructor, Greg Moss, and we're going to jump right in here and get started with creating our project. We've launched Unity 2018. Uh, this should work in any edition of Unity over 4.6 with maybe just a few small changes in how the interface looks, but all the tools I'm using are pretty much the same since Unity 4.6 was released. We've got a project name here, Life Simulator C Sharp, and I've picked the 2D template. And just with that, we're ready to create our project. So once the project has been created, the Unity editor is brought up. I'm not going to, in this course, go through all of the various options in the Unity editor. There's tons of courses out there that cover uh, Unity. Uh, what I'm going to do is explain as I'm working through this game and we build this game up, I'll explain what everything does, but don't expect this to be an exhaustive reference. We're going to move quick, and I'm just going to show you how it works. So in the middle here we have our scene, and this is where we're going to be laying things out. And in this lecture, we're going to just work on laying out our interface for the basic items of a life simulator game. Now, a life simulator game is going to have the health, of course. It's going to have food, uh, the, uh values that you're going to store. It's going to have your money and uh, we're going to have the day that uh, it is in the simulation. So we're just going to start with those four pieces of information. We're going to display them here at the top of our game just like we would pretty much in, uh, in any life simulator game. So I can begin by coming over here on the left side where we have our hierarchy and this is where we're going to add items to our project. I can right click here and I can just do it out here. I don't have to have main camera selected. I can just right click here and under UI I can click text and this is going to add a text object to our scene. Now we can't see it here. It doesn't really do a good job when you just add it here of showing you where it's at. I found the easiest thing is just to double click it like this and that'll zoom in on it and center it just like this. Now over here on the right, we can examine the properties for this item by clicking the inspector here. So most often, you're going to have inspector up in this panel. And I'm going to just move this up a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And this line right here at the bottom is basically the bottom of our screen. So if I run this, we'll see this new text right down here near the bottom of our screen. So you can see it. It's really hard to see, but it's there. I'm going to now change it so it's easier to find and see and we'll move it around. So the first thing we'll do is change the color so it'll stand out better. We'll just change it to white just like that. You can make it whatever color you like and we're going to make it bigger too. So let's change it from 14 to 24 and we'll make this a little bit bigger. I can zoom out and here we can take this and move it <clears throat> up here and position it in the top left corner and instead of calling it just text let's name our object and call it instead health text just like that and in our text that will display on the screen let's go ahead and put health and a colon and just so we can see what it might look like when it's actually running we'll put a hundred there and if we run our game we can click this right up here and hit play we can see our game run. This is kind of our hello world of the game here, but we have health 100. And if we wanted, we could add a title to our game. Let's just duplicate this. Let's call it game title. And this way, by duplicating this, just right clicking and duplicating it, we don't have to set up all those other properties. At least we get closer to what we want. I move this to the center and you'll notice that we do have kind of some handy lines it'll show us right when we're in the center and we can then come down here to the paragraph and align it in the center this will change to say life simulator version 0 0.1 and if we run it now of course we're gonna have that there now this isn't a formal challenge in the course, but I'm going to just suggest you pause the video here and try to lay out three other labels, one for our food, one for the money, and one for the current day that we will increment every time we take an action.
So pause the video and try to do that yourself. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you paused the game. If not, that's fine. Maybe you're watching this and you're not at a place where you can try it yourself. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna change health text to food text. And then we just move it down in the scene like that. Now we change the name of it, but we also probably wanna change the text here so we can tell we're working with food. And then let's go ahead and duplicate again. And this time we'll move it to this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and realign this to the right so that it'll, it'll fit over here this way. And we'll just call this money. And instead of a hundred dollars, we're gonna set you off. Start with zero. Most life simulators, you start out with zero dollars. So that's just you want to start the player off as far back, uh, begging on the street as you can. And let's see, money, text, and we're going to duplicate that and bring it down, and then day. And we'll just put that as one. So this is the labels part of our interface, very simple. And as we take actions like eating garbage or begging for money on the street or sleeping in a cardboard box will affect our money, it'll affect our health, it'll affect our food, these three you know, variables. And then our day will increment. Now let's go ahead and lay out the rest of our basic interface. Let's make a button for those three items. Now, I still need to name this day text. And we want to name these so it's going to be easy for us to reference in our code. And um, let's create a button now. I right click and hit UI button. You can also do it up here too. You can come up here to game object, UI, and button, just like that. And we'll call this our eat button for eating food. And the button, you'll see over here on the right, we have these components. We have a transform component that tells us where it's going to be located. And so as you'll see, as we move this around, you'll see the X, Y position change. So you don't usually have to change these manually. You'll, you'll probably end up doing that through code at some point. But you can just drag them to where you want. And then um, we have other components, such as the renderer that's going to display this item on the, on the screen. It's responsible for handling that. We have the image that it's going to display. And so you'll notice if I uncheck this, we lose our white background on the button because that's how it's displayed. So this just turns a component as being active or inactive. And then we have our button script. So this button script now is sitting on our button. And you'll notice there's nowhere here in the button to change the text of the button. And that's because that component for the text is nested down in the button. So you'll see here on the button there's this little triangle. Just click it. And now here on text, we're going to change this to, let's start with the food. Eat garbage. So you just eat. This is the lowest level on the life simulator. And as you unlock more options and have more money, you'll be able to eat better than garbage. So we'll duplicate our eat button and make one for health. We'll call this our health button. And um, let's go ahead in our health button and say sleep cardboard box or sleep on street, whatever you want. And we're going to take our health button and move it over here like that. We can zoom in a little bit with the mouse wheel scrolling there. And then now let's go ahead and duplicate it one more time and have a big for money. So now each of these buttons is going to carry out a primary operation and I actually want a big button money or button. Let's also not put spaces. like that and in our text we will say beg for money and we'll put a little dollar sign one there so we know that we're gonna make a dollar every time we hit this button 
So this covers the three main options in a life simulator type game. We're going to work on our health by, or I'm sorry, our food here. This is going to increase food and take our health down a little bit. We're going to sleep on the street, which will increase our health, but take our food down a little bit. And then we can beg for money, which will give us a dollar, but we'll take both of these down. Our health and food go down as we're doing that. And then in each of these categories, I could maybe spread them out here a little bit like this. So we can add underneath each of these categories. We're going to have different kinds of foods we can eat. We'd have better uh, places to sleep are usually, you know, taking pills or having some other kind of benefit here that you would unlock to increase your health. And then finally, jobs you can unlock. And we'll have ones as well for education and uh, purchasing transportation. So those are at least the, the main categories we'll have. But for now, we're going to have these buttons and they're going to affect these items, the health and the food and uh, our money. So that's going to be the end for this lecture because we've laid out this basic interface. Now in the next lecture, we're going to create our first C-sharp script and we're going to wire up one of these buttons uh, to our health and, uh, and we'll start with health. So we'll start with, I guess we'll start with food. It's over here on the left. So we'll start with food and in the next lecture, we'll see how we can make it so we can click this button and actually make our food uh, value here go up.